I'm going to give you my exact five day adrenal reset in this video. Now it often takes even more than five months for people just lifestyle alone to reverse adrenal fatigue, if not longer. But if you've ever felt that feeling of being so tired, but so wired and you can't sleep, or you're feeling like you're on edge all the time, or even maybe you're just feeling kind of like a low grade depression all the time. You're craving salt, your sleep has been weird for months if not years, and in general, you're just not feeling like yourself. Then you might have what some people call adrenal fatigue. Now in this video, we'll talk a little bit more about this, but I wanna focus on five core practices that you can do to get on the path to healing. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, author of the health book, Master of the Day. Now, let's get into practice and day number one. Now, day number one is all about your story. So I call it reset your story. You are here for a reason. Something that you probably did contributed to the fact that you are watching this video now because you're exhausted, you're anxious, you're depressed, can't sleep, heart palpitations, whatever it is. I always tell my patients, just reset your story, revisit it. When I think back to how I developed this really severely, I mean, it took me over five years for my symptoms to go away. When I think about what led to the development of that, you know, I was working 80 hours a week, right? I was doing my four year doctoral program in traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, seeing patients, taking coaching calls on the side, working 20 hours a week on YouTube videos so that I wouldn't be quarter million dollars in debt. I was working a lot. So I could look back at my story and think, ah, okay, well the obvious habit was I worked 80 hours a week instead of 40 or less. So I've got that, but your story might be different, right? Because stress can be real or it can be perceived. You know, for example, when you look at the history of adrenal fatigue, they used to call it nervous exhaustion or neurasthenia. The two classes of people that this was most often observed in was men that were blue collar going to work in cities for the first time in history at like a desk for 15 hours a day, being overworked with the stress of the city life, not moving, not exercising. That's one category, but the other category was the wives left home alone all day. They had no meaning and no purpose. They had no company. They were developing like these kind of neurotic like responses because of the isolation. You can develop adrenal fatigue from prolonged isolation or disconnection or loneliness. I mean, I see people that chronically don't sleep well because they live alone. You put them back with their family or with a friend or someone stays over or they're visiting home for the holidays. They're like, what, for two weeks I had no insomnia first time in years. And there's real studies on what happens when you sleep around other people. I say reset your story because typically, <laughs> at least in my case, you got yourself here. So what was it? And what do you need to reset about your life story going forward so you don't end up here again? Think very closely about that. Now for day two or practice number two, I call it resetting your personality. Keep this in mind guys, there's a certain person who's prone to adrenal fatigue throughout their entire life. It's this guy right here. So why is that? There's a great quote, there are no incurable illnesses, only incurable people. And the more I practice clinical medicine in my practice, the more I see there's a distinct personality trait attached to lots of different kinds of symptoms and illnesses, especially when chronic. One person could be hyper anxious, and so they don't try anything because they're too afraid to try anything, or they're too scared to sleep, their nerves are fried. Another person is too driven. It's great to be driven. It's bad when you're destroying your body and you can't sleep and you're having heart palpitations, you need to smoke cigarettes or drink heavily or take Xanax because you've been pushing too much. That's a specific personality, the driven executive type that will not let themselves rest. So thinking, what is it about my personality personality that contributed to this sort of adrenal burnout. Lack of surrender, was I trying to push everything and organize and control every little thing? My love life, my work life, my friend life. Finances kind of suck this month, but I'm gonna do my best going forward. You know, I gained a couple pounds this year and I didn't want to, rough year, so I'm gonna get back on track. Right, you see the personalities that are inherently involved connected to burnout. Exhaustion stage involves kidney yang energy being exhausted. The kidney yang is like your battery charge. It's associated with like severe adrenal burnout, right? Low DHEA, low cortisol, these kinds of hormones. Think about how you got there. There's a whole checklist I've put together that goes along with this video on adrenal fatigue. And I'm actually gonna be doing a live online workshop on it, an adrenal reset, a traditional Chinese medicine point of view. So if you guys want, check out that link below the video, which just has a free guide for exactly the three stages of adrenal fatigue. It's actually pretty nice. We took a lot of time to make it. And a lot of the hormones and botanicals involved at each stage. Check it out, it goes well with this video. Day three or practice three, reset your battery charge. One of my first mentors, very, very skilled Chinese medicine doctor named Brian McMahon, he says, when people get really sick, when the kidney yang battery charge is exhausted, like when there's that level of exhaustion, you have to go into deep energy conservation mode, deep winter hibernation. He calls it closing the doors and shutting the windows. Plug all the holes where energy can be lost. Those friends that are kind of draining sometimes, the family members, the work obligations or the work hours, the things you really don't want to do, all the stuff that takes from you. You see these patterns a lot in caregivers. I've seen patients that come in, the wife is caring for the husband as he goes through cancer treatment, he passes away, boom, 
she gets cancer right after it because she was, again, cashing these checks that her body couldn't cash. She didn't have that in her reserves. For lots of people, when we talk about shutting the doors, closing the windows, going into energy conservation mode, we're not talking about a few months. We're talking about six months to two years. For me, it took five years. Now, I wasn't resting for five years, which is why it took a long time. I was self-employed. I had two businesses. A global pandemic hit. I was alone more than half the pandemic. I had no social interaction, right? That is not a healing environment. But you can do this in a much faster period of time if you heed this advice or just get treated as soon as possible. Go into deep energy conservation mode. That is one of the ways you recharge the battery. Go to bed early, wake up late, minimize anything that takes from you, too hard workouts, coffee, stimulants, all of that that pulls out your charge. Conserve your resources. Go into winter mode hibernate. Practice or day number four, reset your supplementation. If I knew back then what I know now, what I would say is see a practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine as fast as possible because I have patients come in and within one month I can have them sleeping 80% again, enough energy to have their life. Panic attacks, 70, 80, 90% gone. Anxiety under control. Untreated, I've seen people have this over five years. And if you think however dark and scary it is right now for you, for me it was scary. I developed severe insomnia. Think about how scary it is and think about doing that for another year. So just my two cents, this is why I do what I do. But there are some herbs that you can take. And if you've downloaded the free guide, I talk about some of the herbs, Western herbs and Eastern herbs. But I wanna talk about four here because these commonly show up in patterns of adrenal fatigue, right? when we're trying to reset. Number one is renshen, ginseng. Ginseng has a very studied effect in the literature on stabilizing the HPA axis, which is one of those physiological pathways involved in chronic, unrelenting stress. Another is huangqi, astragalus. Astragalus not only has anti-cancer properties, we use it for chronic fatigue, right? The kind of chronic fatigue and exhaustion people develop, like after severe adrenal burnout. So huangqi is very effective for also treating the HPA axis, stress, immune system, cancer. The third is guajir orogwe, cinnamon bark, cinnamon twig. This is medical grade. This is not powdered cinnamon you put in your oatmeal, guys. Guajir is amazing for when there's exhaustion or heart rate regulation issues. Elevated heart rate, palpitations, chest discomfort, anxiety. All of that is treated by the god of the nervous system, guajir, rogue, cinnamon twig, cinnamon bark. And finally, I'll say Fooling. Fooling is very effective for anxiety, palpitations, sleep, and also when you look at it in research, it's very, very effective for affecting serotonin. Same neurotransmitters affected by a certain class of antidepressants. So those four are some of the most commonly used in my practice. I also work with a limited number of new patients every month in my clinic in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. So if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can reach out to my clinic, call or email us. The info's in the bio below. You can also go to dralatine.com forward slash clinic and that's the best way to get in touch. Day five is all about resetting the way you live. Now, when I say day one through five, each of these could be a year of healing, right? But I wanna give you five practices you can do right away. Learning to live in more resonance or more flow is very important for a lot of people with this pattern. Some people are too highly driven and they're pushing, they worry too much. We say worry binds or knots the chi. So if you were driven, learn a different path to success that's more flow oriented. Don't settle, you can have both. You know, if you were more isolated and that's what led to this, learn to build a stronger community. If you were someone who wasn't living well, just unconscious, drinking five cups of coffee, drinking two glasses of wine a night, eating whatever you want, gained 80 pounds. Like if there was no consciousness around your lifestyle, that's okay, just be real. Understand that that was probably the thing for you. Sometimes you have to just forgive yourself because if you did the best you could in medical school, if you did the best you could at your job, if you're a single mother with kids, if you're a caretaker for someone you love and that's what led to it, forgive yourself and find a great healer or doctor or whoever that can help you get back to health faster. This is what I wish I knew five years ago, seven years ago. If you do these five things over the coming months, you will really shorten your path to healing. You will accelerate it and you won't have to be sick for a long time like I was. Now I also have a beginner course called the Introduction to Healing with Traditional Chinese Medicine all about some practices you can do every day to live longer and feel well. I figure rather than covering this channel with a bunch of spammy ads for supplements or products I don't believe in and probably won't help you, why not launch my own program? The first one is a pinned comment below this video and I hope it helps guys. And then check out my other related video on adrenals and health right here.